Late at night. Yeah. Wow. All right. When what I was were you trying doing? to go to bed uh, after doing my homework. You were studying? This was good study uh, music? Yeah. Homework. He is so pure. You're studying curves. You are, John. It's good sleeping music. John understands what I'm talking about. There was no sleeping going on. I'm just saying. It is time for the Good Day Celebrity Dish. All right, so let's let's go. Let's let's, let's do this. Hey, listen. uh, Just when you thought Travis Scott won Valentine's Day, in comes Kanye. So here's what he did to make his wife, Kim Kardashian, feel special yesterday on the of love, West brought saxophonist Kenny G into his home to give Kim a private performance. Kim tweeted a video of Kenny playing his song Forever in Love as he stood among roses, look at that, that were individually displayed in single vases. She wrote, Pete Husband Award goes to mine, most thoughtful gifts ever. She also shared a video of Kenny playing a rendition of Wizard of Oz's Somewhere Over the Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> look at Kanye's face. He's like, I, I did, did it. it. Yeah, yeah. I did it. Yeah. Uh, look what I did. <laughs> Hilarious! Wait a minute. If they show it again, now is this just supposed to top Travis Scott from a day oh. ago with his fantasy hearts? Did they all? Did the rappers get together and say, "What can we do for our wife?" Can I first say that it just it feels good to hear Kenny G outside of an elevator? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad someone got him out of an elevator to perform. And if you had to live with Kanye West all year long, you should get an yeah, over the top good, Valentine's Day experience. That's, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, how does that work? Do they then like invite Kenny? Do they like? Have no, they dinner? don't invite. They pay. Kenny. No, 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 I know that. But I mean, when he's done doing his little concert there, do, yeah. they, then they're, do they all like sit Do they have dinner? Or, right. I want to know, did they, did they airlift <laughs> right. him up out of the roses? Because <laughs> right. I can't walk through that. <laughs> right. Find the path out. It just, you know. Mm. They are Kim okay. Ye. They did that. You saw that door yeah. in the background, he slowly backed out. Right, right. <laughs> right. Exactly. He <laughs> and if somebody's coming to do somewhere over the rainbow for me, I want it to be Patti LaBelle. I don't want oh, it to be. Right. I want, oh, I want her to roll I around in the floor. I want her to kick her shoe. I want a full experience. And I want a rainbow. Rainbow. Yes. <laughs> right. All right. Well, let's talk about this story because this is the story that you have to talk about every day because Uh-oh. it's called the uh, Wendy Williams show. But the host is no longer included in the planning while she's on an indefinite hiatus. Now, the word on the street at first is that they were or keeping her and her husband in getting their approval on replacement host and the guests as well. However, they are no longer including Wendy Williams on planning emails. She is 100% not involved. That's the word on the street. Wow. Mm. This is what the people behind the scenes are saying. Every Look decision John. Look at John. is He's now being made. Oh, you got some. Oh, John got some insights. He's got some insights. Jump in here, John, anytime you want. Go ahead. Go ahead. All I have to say is, how you doing? Okay. What you got? What you got? I was I was at the um I was at the show this week. Okay. With Sherry Shepard. There you go. Here's your picture. Yeah, yeah. That's me on set. I help Sherry Shepard write material for hot topics and prepare for her segments and stuff. That's her publicist and her stylist. Yeah. I don't know if any of the stories are true. I I can tell you this. The staff was exceptionally kind. They were very happy people. We had a good time with them. Okay. Um, I believe that Wendy's probably still involved. But, you know, when you're when you are making a living talking about hot topics and everybody else's life is typically everybody. Yeah, everybody. Now you're the story. Stories happen, whether they're true or not. The tabloids are having a good time at her expense. Yeah. She's probably sitting at home with her feet up. Uh, with her uh, resting wig, yeah. enjoying all the attention. But John, okay. don't, don't you think if this was the John Murray show and you're not a part of it, don't you want to know what's going on on the show that has your name on? First of all, if it was the John Murray show, uh, it wouldn't be nobody filling in for me. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. my contract. Ain't nobody coming up in my show when I'm exactly. not here. Exactly. Exactly. And, and you want to know who? And if it was, it was gonna be somebody really, really bad. Yeah. So that when I come back, you'll be like, oh God, oh, my yeah. God, you're back at work. We're yeah. making sense. Listen. Yeah. But Sherry Shepard was great this week. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Nick Cannon was great. Oh, I enjoyed was Michael Rappaport. Yeah. Yeah. So right. some of the people they have in there are really good. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll get back and do the Hot Talk panel again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope Always so. a good time Come when on. I'm there. I hope so. Yeah. All right. A dynamic duo, you probably heard about this, hit the studio. Rapper Cardi B and singer Bruno Mars. Well, they teamed up for another hit. Um, so you may not want your kids listening to it. <laughs> Producer Chris has this one from the Fox 5 control room. All right, Chris. Maybe the understatement of the day so far. <laughs> uh, so we told you. Yesterday, Cardi came back to Instagram to promote the new song that she did with Bruno Mars. This comes just about a year after their last collaboration on Finesse Remix. Um, Here's the thing. We put our crack team to work to try to find the only 20 seconds that we could possibly play for you here on the morning show. So take a listen. Baby, turn around and 
Getting down to business. Okay.、Um, yet to see whether this will be as big a hit as their last collaboration. I doubt it'll get as much radio play. Yeah. But it'll probably be a hit on streaming because it's two mega popular artists. Okay. And、All、people、right. had a problem with "Baby, It's Cold Outside."、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if they had had that when I was in college. <laughs> I would have been listening to that instead of Kenny G. Been studying all over again. Yeah, there you go. You have your doctorate. I'd have my doctorate degree. Studying so hard. Yeah, there you go. And, and listen, I'm glad Cardi B's back on social media. It was a 72-hour hold after、yeah. the Grammys. She, right. She、like、she quit. Pattern for playing.、Yeah. Listen, she、yeah. was upset, but she's back, and now she's got some baby making music out. Yeah, there you go. It all works together. It all works. together. If you together. check out some of her Instagram videos, it seems、okay. like she may have been enjoying herself last night as well. Oh, okay.、Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go back over here because I. Understand? We got to, we got some、uh, breaking news. Are we going to keep going? We're waiting on the president. Okay,、on. so keep going. All right, so <laughs> he's in McDonald's right now. We got at, more time. All right, so we got more time. All right, Jenny from the block coming to the Capitol. All right, mark your calendars because it's Wednesday, July seventeenth, Capital One Arena. It's been years since J Lo hit the road with a proper tour following her three-year residency in Las Vegas, and to celebrate her fiftieth birthday in July, Jennifer Lopez confirmed that tour is coming. This is what she had to say. It's my. It's the name of the tour, the tour is "It's My Party," the live celebration tour. It kicks off June seventh. It starts in Phoenix during an appearance on the Ellen Show. J Lo said, I, "I'm going on a U.S. tour. It's called 'It's My Party.' We're only doing 25 to 28 shows, something like that. It's just a small amount of shows, but we'll we'll be out all through June and July. This summer, I decided I wanted to do something big for my birthday since it's a big birthday. Oh my gosh!、So、yeah." Fifty never looked so amazing, right? Yeah, yeah and it's gonna be a great show. Just as long as she doesn't do the Motown、right. tribute, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm good. She's probably kind of confident she won't. No Diana so, Ross,、yeah. no Martha、yeah. Reeves. Just、right. stick to J Lo. No, no Gladys, none of that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's all. Hey,、good. come back and do the dish with us again. This was so well, fun. Listen, anytime. Yeah. yeah, I love the I love, I love the Lost. Yeah. yeah, I can move in here. I can. The Lost loves you. <laughs> Thank you, John. Let's get Thanks, back over. Thanks, John Murray.